Today we're going to be taking a look at the race replacement process for trailer hubs. Now these races, you can see one right here, are designed to fit inside of your hub. They're going to allow your bearing a nice seat. So it's going to come in, it fits on there, this stays with the hub. This goes around your axle and that's going to give us our rotation of our hub. So we don't have metal on metal contact. That's what the system is designed to do. Now these races over time are going to get fatigued. Let me take one of these out and I'll show you what I mean. Now the removal process of a race is typically going to involve a punch or a screwdriver that you don't like too much because we're going to be knocking on this with a hammer and typically you're going to deform that tip. That's why that one's been ground down a few times. Now with either method, we need to tap on the back side of the race. You can see this front race here, it's going to go in and there's a little lip in here behind it we're actually looking at the back of another race. You see this lip right down here? That's gonna be our, our inner race, which is right here. So we'll start by getting that one out. So punch your screwdriver, and then we're gonna start tapping on it. Now whatever surface you're working on, it's a good idea to have a block of wood. It's gonna kinda help keep this metal from hitting into the concrete or digging into grass or whatever you might be working on. You see, you just bring your punch down so it sits on the back side of that race, or bring your screwdriver down so it sits on the back side of that race, and we'll begin tapping. Now we're gonna go side to side, forward and back, And as we do, our race is going to start sliding out of the hub. You can see our race is almost out here to the edge. Kind of hear how that tone changed a little bit. Now we'll support it using two blocks of wood because that needs to come out. There you can see our old race. Let's just wipe this off a little bit and take a look at the symptoms that'll cause us to need a replacement here. You see all the marks and all the grooves that are around that outside edge. You can even see some cracking from excess heat. So we probably had a bearing failure here. Some of the material got in between the bearing and the race and it caused all this damage. Now as your bearing rides on that, it's drastically going to decrease the life. Once you have a nice smooth surface for the bearing to ride on, that extends the life. That's going to make our bearing last much longer. So it's a great idea to replace your races if you see any kind of issues like this. Now this is going to work out great for just a low budget hub rebuild, but these replacement races also come in really handy in the situation that maybe your hub's gone obsolete and they don't make a complete replacement. You can still get the components you need to rebuild that and extend the life of your trailer. Now we'll do the same thing for our other side. Now inside there's a spot where our race is meant to seat right up against. You can see it's kind of like a little raised edge there. You want to be sure that you take a towel or if you need to, maybe if there's some rust buildup in there or something, a small pick or small screwdriver and you want to clean that seat off really well so our race will go all the way down in and made up against the surface it's intended to. You see there we've got it nice and clean now so our race should seat in there well. Just want to make sure your inner and outer race seats are both nice and clean and we'll show you how to get your new race installed. Now we want the thinner portion of the race, you can see the thinner portion here the thicker portion there. We want the thinner portion to face out and then we need to drive this down into place. Now there are a few methods for this. One would be taking a block of wood. You'll tap that until it comes down flush with the face of the hub. kind of like that, and then you'll take your old race and put the thick side down and use that to drive it in. Just a little bit further to where there's a small lip all the way around. 
And then at that point, some guys will take a punch or a screwdriver. In this case, I really prefer a punch though. If you look at the end of these two punches, one of them is nice and clean and flush. One of them has been beat up quite a bit. I would choose the cleaner of the two punches that's gonna reduce the risk that will cause any damage to our race. And then it's just a matter of slowly going around side to side and getting it tapped all the way down against that seat. Now the second method is gonna be our race and seal driver kit. Now this is from Performance Tool. It comes with many different size heads for many of the different common size races and bearings. Part number on this is PTW83020. This takes a lot of the worry out that you might potentially cause damage to your new race as it goes in. You can see it's got the perfect taper. It's designed to fit that race. Then it's just a matter of driving it in with your hammer. Now as you go, you'll want to listen for the sound to change. It's going to go from a hollowish sound as it's moving to a much more firm sound. Right there. Now we'll flip this over and we just need to check around the back side of our race to make sure it's all the way down against that seat. Now we're ready to do the other side. All right, now as you drive your races in, you can see sometimes they pull off just a little bit of the metal off the outside of the hub. So it's a really good idea at this point to make sure we get any of that out of there. And what we're gonna be left with is essentially a brand new hub. We've got our races put right in there. Our bearings are gonna have an excellent spot to go in and seat and that'll help us ensure we get maximum life out of our trailer. We won't have any failures. That's gonna complete our look at a race replacement process. You're able to replace your races in your hub rather than purchasing complete replacements.